So the there's only there's there's one thing on the agenda for today, um, which is um, that we are giving a briefing on the report that we prepared um, for the um, RVA review, um, and I'm going to do this um, fairly simply um, just by. Um, looking through the report which is structured in a i reminded myself of it today we've prepared it uh, finished completed it about uh, two and a half weeks ago um and um basically just um give an overview of 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 what we found um and uh, what we wrote up in there um we uh, were working with ardc um oh by um if i didn't introduce myself i realized I'm simon cox from csiro um so um for i i don't know everybody who's on the call so um people i don't know hi hi john <laughs> hi shanjit hi i'm not sure which andy that is uh, most of the rest of the people i've met in the past so john's talking but he's muted so i can't hear him <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to share my screen um, and that should, um, hopefully you can now see um, the cover page of the report with the link to which has been, I believe, circulated to everyone on this list um, by Cell. Um, discovered today that um some we there's been some feedback received which cell has been dutifully pasting into a, a second copy of this document that um i've only just discovered the location of so at the moment the report that i'm going to um uh, brief on uh, is the original copy and has not yet incorporated responses to um, a small amount of feedback that we've received from um natalia um uh, um, and a couple of other people. Um, let me just, yes, uh, Natalia, Les, um, a couple of other people. So anyway, if you can um, see, uh, I hope everyone can see on the screen um, the, uh, the cover page of the report. Um, just scroll through and just to uh, reflect on how the um, report is structured. Um, we started out um, just with a summary of um, what the intentions are around um, doing this review of Research Vocabularies Australia. Um, a little overview of what Research Vocabularies Australia is. Um, a brief summary of the stakeholder survey that we ran um, uh, back in June um, with um, feedback from their um, gathered into under two headings, um, potential enhancements and limitations of the current service. Um, then an account of the workshop that we ran in late June. Um, a separate chapter, um, which is um, uh, additional information that um, uh, CSIRO, as the people carrying out this review, um, have fed into the um, the review um, based on our expert knowledge, if you like, or our, and also our survey of um, other vocabulary uh, research vocabulary services out there in the world. Um, and um, finally, some recommendations which are tabulated under um, five um, topic headings. Um, so we'll probably um, be most interesting to sprint through to the recommendations at the end, but first we'll just give um, a, a little bit of a survey of, of what else we, we uh, uh, how the review is undertaken and what we've documented in this um, report. Okay, so um, uh, compiled um, by um, CSIRO in con uh, collaboration with ARDC and in response to um, the workshop and the survey. So um, the overall um, headline um, output is that RVA is meeting a clear need, provides a suite of capabilities that are valued by the community. Uh, there are some ideas about uh, potential future improvements. Um, so, um, ARDC, um, picking up on the work that ANS had done over a number of years, um, are in a process of reviewing 
the um, infrastructure services that they actually host um, um, as opposed to those services which they um, have been working with ex with other collaborators with and then in particular um, those services are Research Data Australia, the Federated Index of um, Research Data Repositories and Research Vocabularies Australia. Um, so this first document is looking at the, the latter of those, Research Vocabularies Australia, um, and the intention is to identify future directions for the ARDC um, data publication services. Um, so I've already um, given you an indication as to, as to how the review was conducted with a survey, a workshop, and then some additional input, interviews with ARDC staff, um, and then comments based in, uh, on this feedback round which this um, briefing, I guess, is uh, a continuation of. So this part of the report just gives a little overview as to um, uh, the general background as to um, the service that Research Vocabularies Australia um, uh, provides. Um, uh, I won't go into detail on that at the moment. And then a summary of what the current state of Research Vocabularies Australia is, um, that is, it com it's comprises um, a, an, a vocabulary editor, um, which is based on Pool Party, which is a commercial product, um, but which AIDC hosts on behalf of the Australian research community. So they're wearing the cost of the license um, uh, on behalf of the whole community. There's a vocabulary repository, um, which is um, based on an RDF data store um, with sitting in front of it um, a bit of some open source software, um, which provides a, a linked data view of the controlled vocabularies there. There's a vocabulary registry, which is um, the first thing that you encounter when you go into the um, RVA website um, so, uh, sorry the um, um, the registry sorry this uh, the registry is the uh, the work that um, ARDC have, have hosted on the back end um, for um, updating and versioning um, vocabularies the vocabulary portal I jumped ahead of myself there that's the the first thing you see when you go into research vocabularies Australia which is the initial discovery state and the high level summary of vocabularies um, um, as well as user support documentation. Um, this um, uh, diagram you've probably all seen because uh, it's part of the, the basic offering on um, the RVA website. Um, so there's a, a browser user interface for discovery, a browser user interface for um, vocabulary providers, registration upload ver versioning, um, uh, registration um, API for vocabulary maintainers. Um, so you can um, uh, uh, update um, uh, uh, vocabularies and um, search and download and um, uh, novel um, piece of the RVI kit is the vocabulary widget which provides a, um, a, a, a widget that can be dropped into um, websites um, based on content hosted at RVI. Um, so as of um, the end of July there was um, 217 controlled vocabularies in the portal um, of which um, about a third, 80 of them, are just a link to um, an externally hosted web page and the rest uh, a mixture of ones maintained and uploaded from pool party and those prepared um, um, externally. Um, so um, diagram there summarising that. Um, uh, though vocabularies in hosted by RVA um, follow contemporary um, web best practice, every term has a URI, um, and you get a web page or a machine readable version of that, depending on how you ask. Um, so there was a, a survey uh, distributed um, at the beginning of June, I think, it was open for a couple of weeks. Um, only got a, a relatively small um, response, but um, uh, allowed some insight as to um, what the community thought was important. Um, particularly interesting was the narrative versions um, of uh, limitations. A couple of providers provided quite a lot of detail um, as to what they thought was good, and particularly some of the limitations of um, Research Recoveries Australia. Um, top of the list there is um, that in some communities um, they don't need 
vocabulary is to be hosted in RVA. Um, um, possibly they could be registered there, but they don't need to be hosted because um, they rely on a um, discipline or community um, hosted service which already exists. Um, and then there was some issues around the difficulty of searching for terms across um, vocabularies um, and um, uh, some um, opportunities for uh, maybe in, in improving the way in which um, RVA vocabularies can be integrated with um, enterprise tools and processes. Um, so, uh, a couple of issues around um, governance. Um, particularly um, that the uh, level of community or domain endorsement vocabulary is unclear. Uh, the RVA has been run very much as a as a bottom up um, process where um, anyone who is eligible to have an account at AIDC can register any vocabulary they like, and that sometimes means that there's more than one vocabulary covering a similar scope, um, and in that context. Um, it's important for users to be able to make some kind of a judgment as to which one um, they prefer to use, and that's not always easy. So we had a workshop with um, this set of attendees um, at the end of June. Um, we're organized by CSIRO and um, AIDC. Um, so good representation from across some of the other NCRIS facilities, but also from National Archives, ABARES, IATSIS, um, and Geoscience Australia. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, program um, was very interactive. Um, there was a bit of an intro session, particularly focusing on some presentations from three um, exemplary users of controlled vocabularies. But then most of the work of the day was done in breakouts um, around tables to get maximum engagement. Um, addressing um, in the morning these questions, what's working, what are the gaps, and then a report back. And then in the afternoon, um, sorting those and sorting priorities. Um, so um, we have some um, captures of the outputs of the um, of the group sessions, um, which are included in the report here. Um, um, something which came out quite strongly, um, particularly during the morning session, was the extent to which the uh, community engagement activity provided by um, ARDC is valued. So the, essentially this is the support that Rowan and Richard provide to um, new players who come along wishing to, uh, new vocabulary providers in particular, um, wishing to um, uh, take advantage or use um, RVA for publishing their vocabularies. Um, plenty of hand holding, and that turns out to be um, very, uh, very much appreciated. Um, some suggestions about changes and new features, which are in the details of that I'll probably leave until we're looking at the um, tabulations at the end. Um, and um, some suggestions about brand new features. And we, we, we attempted in the afternoon session to get these sorted um, uh, an, along a, a number of axes. Um, there were some sort of general comments um, and more specific um, detailed comments. And there was ones which we, we sorted them into quadrants according to level of importance and level of urgency. And we ignored the quadrant that said not important. Um, but um, so we just focused on important and urgent and important, but we can wait a while. Um, so that's what the, um, the tabulation here um, uh, um, goes to. So more or less all of these topics are picked up in the recommendations at the end. Um, so I'll leave um, discussion of those um, to that. Um, finally, there was a, um, a, a subset of the people who were involved in the workshop who were not current um, RVA users. So rather when at the stage where we were doing a retrospective on people's experience um, and, and suggestions around um, the way RVA works at the moment, instead of doing since they had no retrospective uh, viewpoint to provide, rather they uh, took on the job of um, uh, brainstorming about what an ideal vocabulary service 
um, would be. Uh, some of some topics of which are um, uh, are already present. Um, some of which are um, uh, fantastic ideas, um, but um, might take more than um, ARDC and the community is currently capable of doing. Um, and other ones we're able to um, uh, feedback into the recommendations. So. Um, then, uh, as I say, um, we did um, some additional work on uh, doing an external scan of related work, uh, both in terms of a tabulation of some other um, initiatives and services. This is the kind of content oriented part of the um, other work. So um, a wide variety of different services and this is this can't possibly be comprehensive um, by the way folks but it's um, the ones which um, we're aware of or have encountered um, uh, in th uh, uh, vocabulary services for um, some research communities. Um, the one at the top there is a very general purpose. This problem, you know, comes out of the library um, area. Um, the DDI Alliance do a very good job of uh, managing their controlled vocabularies in uh, um, social sciences, um, official statistics, um, uh, public health, those kinds of things. And then um, a series of sort of natural science um, oriented uh, vocabulary services um, with links and also an indication not only the scope but um, some comments on um, the status. So in some cases they're very stable, some cases they're I'm not sure if you'd call continuous maintenance stable, it means things actually do change regularly um, but the service itself is stable. Um, um, uh, uh, some are wide open by a portal, anyone a bit like RVA can submit a vocabulary as long as it conforms to OWL it can get in. Um, um, it means there's a lot of vocabularies there, um, but um, other ones it's much more curated. So um, I'm kicking the tires a couple of years ago, I submitted some vocabularies to Agrivoc and got a polite email overnight saying, I don't think these are agricultural vocabularies, so please remove them. Um, so, uh, um, which was um, interesting to discover um, and useful. Um, so, um, uh, say a, a quite, you know, a, a reasonable list here um, and the community should be aware of these um, and a couple of um, emerging um, or new um, initiatives um, uh, down at the bottom there. Um, some comments on governance patterns because governance was one of the things which the mem uh, participants in the workshop um, seemed to be uh, particularly um, concerned about that governance patterns um, uh, there's not as much guidance as people would like and perhaps not as much information um, as people are expecting about the governance status of some of the vocabularies. Uh, um, you know, looking through um, what's in RVA um, to a certain extent, that's just, uh, it's, a, it, it's down to the, um, what's contributed by the um, people registering vocabularies in RVA and I've even in the last um, week or so uh, picked up on some of the vocabularies that ANS, um, now ARDC themselves, um, submitted into RVA and said, hold on a moment, the, um, the, narr the descriptions in the metadata on the top page there are, is incomplete and, and makes it a little difficult to assess why you'd use this one versus another one. So, so the, um, uh, the flaws go all the way up and down. Um, and there's, I guess there's some questions about um, uh, whether there needs to be um, more rigorous checking and whether the wide open nature of um, submitting them um, um, is um, uh, meeting uh, community requirements. But um, as, an, uh, as a comparison, um, basically did a, a brief description of um, some governance arrangements for some other vocabularies and vocabulary services, uh, which I was particularly familiar with. Um, so um, increasingly there's a lot of use of issue trackers and ticketing systems, particularly around GitHub. Um, so um, uh, that's, um, anyway, it's, it's described in here. 
um, um, a little reference out to um, standard governance models as described in um, one of the standard stacks that um, some in our community use. Um, this comes from the um, geographic information standards with the idea that you um, separate out um, the management of the content um, from a technical point of view for the management of the content from a, a um, uh, 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 sorry, the management from a, um, a conceptual point of view um, and such like. But basically, this is just drawing attention to the fact that there are um, quite rigorous models for how content would be um, uh, maintained and including some um, uh, sequence diagrams, flow diagrams, um, decision uh, trees, and that uh, which are in these standards. Um, Finally, looking externally, um, a bit of a technical view here about some of the platforms which are available. Um, RVA, um, primarily the um, linked data API to vocabularies is based on the um, elder SysFox stack, um, which Jonathan and I were actually, we were involved in developing SysFox quite a few years ago. Um, and when, um, uh, RVA was uh, establishing its offer in the first place. There was a, a small working group that evaluated a number of options and decided to go with that primarily because of its open source nature and its compatibility with uh, sort of web standards around um, uh, machine and uh, machine readable and also human readable um, interfaces. Um, but there's a number of other um, um, offers out there. Um, Sorry, I'm hoping you're not going too seasick as I'm scrolling up and down. Um, um, with um, uh, and as I mentioned, the the tech stack which um, RVA that part of the tech stack is is um, you know arguably getting quite long in the tooth now. Although there's no reason um, why it, it still functions perfectly well, um, but there's um, there's there's alternatives um, which are, are listed in here. Um, and and on and on and on. <laughs> um, so so um, the bottom ones on the, that that page there, two proprietary um, tools. Pool Party is already installed. There's an alternative from Top Quadrant, um, both of which come with um, moderately hefty price tags. But obviously, RVA has been able to, um, sorry, ARDC has been able to absorb that cost on behalf of the whole community um, through their Pool Party offer. So, okay, finally, um, getting into the recommendations, we sorted these into, as I say, I think five um, topic areas um, on engagement, training and practice, um, uh, governance, um, tools and technology, um, content and impact and analytics tracking. And the the recommendations are numbered and they're also got a little color coded um, icon to indicate what the source of the particular recommendations were um, divided between uh, things that ARDC themselves contributed um, as part of the consultation um, to kinds of contributions from stakeholders both from the workshop and from the um, from the survey um, and, and the expert feedback was um, stuff that um, CSIRO shoveled in as part of our role um, in the review. Um, so in the um, engagement training and practice um, uh, big ticks to the uh, current help deck help desk service from Rowan and also Cell. Sorry, Cell, I ever uh, should have mentioned you before. Um, um, including the facilities for um, notifications and meetings of the Australian Vocabulary Services Interest Group this, this um, session um, are, are all appreciated um, and um, should continue. That was coming from the stakeholder feedback. Um, and then there's a um, number of uh, um, ideas about improvements in the engagement. Um, a particular one that was coming through was the idea that there's not enough sharing of um, user stories um, about how different communities are able to um, effectively use RVA in the, for the management and publication. The, challenge there is that different communities have got different views of of the um, uh, um, 
have their own internal processes for how um, uh, they manage their vocabularies and how they want to publish them. And in fact, there's a lot of flexibility in the RVA process, which means that having a map to get through that and how to effectively reflect your um, community's requirements um, on the technical platform that we're using um, uh, need a bit of guidance on that. And um, the idea is that perhaps the best way of doing that is through, through some user stories, um, which would allow you to say, ah, oh, does my community operate in the way that this other community is already operating? This is how they went their way through. Um, in the governance space, there is a recognition that the metadata is a bit messy, um, that because early on some of the metadata fields were um, free text, it means that sometimes you've got multiple entries for the same organization or the same person. I know my name's in there several times, CSIRO's name's in there several times, and that means that sometimes it's hard to keep track or, or get a proper evaluation of the provenance or source of vocabularies um, because um, it's a bit tangled up and that needs to be, um, some of that's because the, the means to do that um, was not always available. ORCID and ROR have only come along um, since RVA was established. Um, our ROR is the registry of, of research organizations. And so that's a way of giving identifiers to research organizations until a year ago. Um, that was a, um, a, a bit of a black art, um, how to do that. Um, but um, as the web of science or web of research um, if, uh, um, matures, um, um, RVA needs to reflect that. Now that probably means there needs to be some remediation of existing um, uh, of the existing offer in there, um, which is something which um, ARDC would have to someone would have to roll up their sleeves and do a bit of um, probably some manual work um, to remediate that if that was to go ahead. But the suggestion is that um, oh, I didn't say um, at the beginning. Um, we've also got as well as those five categories, we've got the recommendations sorted into a, a continue. Um, improvements that can be made on a relatively short timeline, one year and longer term improvements, say a three year timeline. Um, so um, uh, anyway, um, documenting the user stories and patterns of governance again is seen as something which needs to be, um, uh, you know, is, is likely to, uh, to, to, to spill out beyond the one year timeline. Um, Looking at tools and technology, um, the pool party editor is um, very much appreciated by, I mean, and, and looks like it's fairly heavily used. It's used for about half of the um, total vocabularies and, and for a, a significant majority of the ones which are actually hosted by RVA as opposed to just um, linked to. Um, so pool party is appreciated. The, um, uh, machine readable, the, the API, um, the elder SysVoc thing is also um, seen as good. Um, and the, um, the top level interfaces as well as the, um, the widgets are appreciated. Um, number of users um, commented that the um, term search is difficult to use because you get multiple hits from different vocabularies, but then to look at the details, you have to burrow down into the individual vocabularies. And so cross vocabulary term searching um, need, needs um, uh, an upgrade. Um, so um, vocabulary mappings is an area, well, that's a never ending um, project, of course. Um, um, but um, people are, are certainly interested in it. Um, uh, some um, uh, possible other issues about about um, updating or improving um, API access um, uh, into other applications. Looking a bit further out, um, uh, there's some um, uh, richer functionality that potentially can be um, provided um, beyond just um, term search. 
um, including, for example, a recommender. Um, a buyer portal runs one of those where you submit a bunch of text and then it says, ah, it looks like you're working in this discipline and here's, and here's the, uh, uh, based on the, uh, the key terms in here, is the vocabulary or ontology which covers most of it. So it might be the one that you um, uh, that you want to use, um, um, and um, also there is um, the question about uh, you know we we don't want to just uh, sit on our laurels, um, and if there's um, some of the other um, technology options um, would uh, um, provide some improvements, then we need to keep our eyes open um, about about um, uh, to to adopting those. Um, in terms of content, um, although um, RVA is primarily based around um, SCOS type um, terms and definitions, um, it's not only limited to that. Um, and um, certainly, a couple of um, uh, vocabularies which I maintain um, in there um, go way beyond SCOS, um, and that's seen. Um, as a um, as, as a feature as that um, to be to be maintained. Um, one of the issues that comes up from time to time is um, is the extent to which um, the sort of passive bottom up approach is enough in terms of content, or whether AIDC um, could be more proactive. Um, in um, searching out and um, acting as a curator or adding additional content. Um, and then there's some um, vocabulary mappings again, which is um, a content issue. And finally, on the impact and analytics tracking, um, the idea that um, vocabulary publishers um, need to get be able to get feedback about um, how much use there is of their vocabularies and perhaps some information about who the users are. Um, but that uh, is, is, is kicked down the road a bit um, into the, uh, the three years and, and later um, uh, stage of the recommendations. 